Hi, welcome to the 13.6 release management kickoff. As a reminder, the release management team is responsible for the categories of release evidence, release orchestration, secrets management, and GitLab pages. We're super excited about 13.6 for a couple of things. We are spending more time deepening the visibility of releases across the GitLab experience, including extending efforts throughout the lifecycle and planning, packaging, and auditing of releases, while also investing in metrics. I am Jackie Porter, the Senior Product Manager, and here we have Hyana, uh, the Staff Designer of Release Management. So first up, we have our sorting of releases component by date, name, and milestone. Uh, and this is going to be a really great feature that allows users to easily configure how they display the releases page. It's a great enhancement that will allow you to efficiently find which release you're looking for. And on top of this, Hyana has some exciting feature work that will make it even easier to use the releases page. Yeah, thanks, Jackie. So as we continue to iterate on the release page, we want to solve some of the existing um, usability and differentiate the content that we display in the page uh, between the overview and the detail of the release page. So the MVC for the new release uh, splash page will focus on a series of links for the release tags um, that enables users to click into specific release uh, items and see the details of this, uh, of this release object. So the MVC will serve as a groundwork for release overtime chart uh, for more configuration options that we're going to implement next. And also uh, at a glance of current versus previous and uh, upcoming releases. Well, while we wait for that enhancement, the team will be shifting in 13.6, the planning portion of lifecycle release management. Uh, this feature will expand on the 13.5 feature of being able to associate a release to a group milestone via the API by making it even easier for people who are in the front end of GitLab to associate that release tag to a group milestone. Again, this feature will really help those who are planning across multiple projects and milestones uh, at the group level uh, to easily see all the issues and MRs that are related to that particular release tag. Next up in the release lifecycle that we're going to be extending is this idea of including the package name and the directory by which we'll be uploading that package from the YAML file. This extends the generic package registry that we offered in 13.5 to automatically append a particular binary asset to a release in the release node of your YAML file. This will be a great enhan enhancement for your release organization flow and will naturally extend your YAML to include your binaries and display it on the releases page as an, a release artifact. This is a highly upvoted feature that people are definitely gonna love using. Finishing up the whole release artifact creation, the last stage of a release is auditing and we are going to be hardening our release evidence object to include more information and also allow us to optimize the performance of very large release evidence files. We've been watching people adopt release evidence and the minimal state that it's in. This will really help those who are currently using the JSON file with more information and better performance. Uh, we are diving deeper into usability and we have a renewed focus on meaningful analytics uh, in addition to these kinds of features. Hayana will discuss that depth of analytics next. Yeah, so stay on the topic of um, making sure that users can associate main code bases into a single version and orchestrate um, the facing deployment experience as a single application. We are powering up group releases with the addition of trend tiles for the Dora 4 metrics. We're going to use uh, the learnings from our CIC dashboard, uh, customer interviews, and the user research insights to inform the design proposals for this new view that's going to live under a uh, group in the analytics section. So starting with the uh, deployments frequency, uh, the lead time for changes in a uh, new navigation menu um, on a group level. 
We're super excited about this feature. And in 13.6, we're going to be working on aggregating those project level metrics in the CICD analytics group page, in addition to the project level release metrics. So we're actually expecting to deliver in 13.6, uh, the number of releases in that group for all the related projects, as well as the percent of projects in that group, allowing people to easily view all of the releases information at that group level. Uh, which will be a great complement to the other features around group milestones and group release views. If any of these issues interest you or you're excited to learn more, please reach out to me at JRE Porter and 13.6 is going to be the best release ever.